Hello and welcome to the Econobox Cafe and episode 4 of our bug eye build. In this video I'm going to be pulling the exhaust manifold and some of the other peripherals off the engine. Just make it a little easier to clean all that up. Uh, we'll be looking at the flywheel and some other bits and pieces that uh, need to be checked out. So let's get started. When the bug eye arrived in the garage, uh, this green starter was in uh, in a box, and this black one was on the engine. And it says OK on it, but uh, we're going to check it out anyway, just to make sure. One of the things to check on these is the uh, the starter gear itself, and that uh, the intent on that is it returns quickly and smoothly, and that seems to be all right. Uh, one thing I am concerned about is uh, the condition of this bushing here. You can see there's quite a bit of play in that, but that's just a matter of replacing uh, the bushing if that's necessary. We'll see what the other one has. Now I've already loosened off this cover on here, so we'll just slide that off. So there are four brushes. There's one here, one in this space, and then two equally underneath. And they all appear to be in decent shape uh, from here. There's uh, no untoward noises coming from in the commutator area, and it looks uh, pretty clean, so I'm pretty happy with that. So with this one, other than the uh, that bushing on the front, this one seems to be in really good shape. Okay, here's the green one that was uh, in the box, and at a closer look at it, I can see why it wasn't on the car. Uh, these wires are, are supposed to be soldered to something. That's one of the brushes, so that's obviously not attached, so wouldn't work for that reason. Another thing that I'm concerned with on this one is, I don't know if you can see it, but there's quite a few metal shavings in the spring there and on the teeth of this gear. And as I showed you on the, the uh, black starter, what's supposed to happen with this is it's supposed to return nice and smoothly. And uh, I can feel just turning that there's some resistance in there uh, the plus on this one is there's very little play in that front bushing uh, but the more I, the closer I look at this the, uh, the more I'm inclined to just uh, put a new bushing in the black one one question I do have though that one's black this one is uh, originally green but I'm wondering if anybody can tell me what the proper color is on these and if you would do so please leave a, an answer in the comment section Now when I first had a look at the flywheel, uh, it looked to be in, in good shape, no uh, real apparent damage. Uh, but then I got looking closer, uh, especially after looking at that uh, one starter motor, that um, the teeth for the most part look to be in pretty good shape. You can see here they're nice and uh, not really worn at all. But then we come over to here and you can see, uh, especially right in right in here where the teeth have been pretty badly gouged up and then we've got another few teeth that are okay and then some more here that have had um, some chips and meat taken out of them all the way around here again I think this is the worst spot right there so that would perhaps explain some of the metal shavings on the uh, green starter we just looked at fortunately the uh, the ring gear is a separate piece from the flywheel itself. It's actually shrunk into place. So I'm going to order a replacement for that, which fortunately is available. Uh, take the new ring gear and the flywheel assembly to a local shop that I uh, work with on occasion. Have them resurface the flywheel and it reinst and take this old ring off and put the new one on. Well, I'm going to start taking uh, all the the peripherals off the engine starting with the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold so let's get going
Okay, so there's the exhaust manifold off. I'll put that aside. Now what I've been doing um, along going along these is uh, putting the nuts and bolts into a zip lock. So I don't lose them. And uh, then I'll label them. Here's a pillar bolt I was talking about in the last video with the cracked front plate. So I've, I've already loosened this off, 9 16th wrench. But it's other interesting what happens now is that whole piece just comes right out. And I don't think it's supposed to do that. So I'll clean up around this broken part here and weld in a new piece, drill a new hole, and we should be good as new. Let's see if we can get a better... Yeah, there's, there's uh, a better shot of that. Well, that wraps up episode four of the Bug Eye Build. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, and that way you'll be notified of any future videos. Check out our blog at econoboxcafe.com. Uh, I'll have the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.